Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a little update video to let you let you guys know what's been going on because I was sort of away for a week and I was getting comments. This is a video basically answering some of your comments that have come across onto the channel. So I thought I'd do a video just to put all your minds at rest because I was away for a week. Pigeons back. The minute I hit record, all the pigeons are gone. The mowers are gone, but now we've got pigeons again. So yeah, everyone was like, oh, he's back. And then you had a bombardment of six videos. So YouTube put a ban on the channel for a community post that I did. I'll pop the thumbnail up now with the blocked out bit, just in case it didn't get banned again. So that's the community post that I put up. So if you can remember that, we were gonna do that step by step. Now in that corner where the little smiley face is, you can see a little bit of breast at the top and there was a minute teeny like half moon bit of nipple showing now that is clearly artwork because it's painted it's tattoo artwork it's not an actual photograph of a woman so youtube found that offensive and they they put a ban on it so i couldn't put anything on the community post i couldn't do a live feed I don't do live feeds anyway, but I couldn't have done that and I can't upload videos. So it's like I'm stuck. So I started filming through the week and continued on with my video schedules that I was doing through the week, editing, filming each day. And then it came to, the ban was lifted. So I posted six in one hit. So that's why you got six videos, bang, back to back in one day. And now we're sort of up to date with this one. We've done the first step by step on this, what you've seen, where we've got this piece of artwork in here. And we've got another two episodes on this one. So it is continuing on. The next step by step on this is happening, guys, because I'm all set up, ready to go. So that sort of clears that up on where I've been and what sort of happened there. Then I was looking through the comments because I got absolutely, I get bombarded with comments and I have like nights where I'm just sitting there replying or just looking through the comments a whole night evening just reading and reading and reading and reading comments from all you guys out there asking questions or talking about stuff that you're doing and things like that like to do with your painting airbrushing if you want any questions or a bit of advice <clears throat> and I don't mind doing that I sort of like dedicate myself a night through the week just to sort of go through comments so if you haven't got anything anything replied yet, I do reply to them, whether it's a thumbs up, a heart, or a like. I will get back to you on them. <clears throat> Some have to sort of chew and digest and then sort of like start chatting with the person or things. Then I'll get emails as well. So I'm li looking through emails and stuff like that, replying to people. So I do try my best to catch up with all of that through the week as well. So looking through the comments, <clears throat> there was a few definitely beginners that have come across asking for advice on bits so I wanted to clear them bits up one of the comments was what lighting do you use sort of like above your easel now I have done a review on this but I want to just go over this one again this is an LED light that the air, airbrushes.com sent out to me for review and a little test to see how it works and how I get along with it and I think it's brilliant, it really is. It's been an absolute godsend, this little LED light. <clears throat> it's table mounted, so you've got a clamp with a little screw bottom, so you can screw it up and it clamps to your table. Now, the work surface that I'm working on, this is basically a trestle that I'd use for painting bonnets on or bumpers, I can adjust the trestle. So that's all it is, just a trestle opened up and then a piece of kitchen worktop slapped over the top with a bit of brown paper over it to cover it from overspray. So that's all I use when I have the easel set up here. Stick the easel on top, bit of backing board, and then pin a bit of paper to it with some rolled up masking tape. Job done, we're good to go. Now the light, I always have bang above the easel, so the light source is coming downwards. Now the reason why I set it up like that is <clears throat> When you're airbrushing, you go up to your paper like this, you can see the shadow where my hand is, it goes below it. So that piece is always in shadow. So where you're working here with your brush, you're always gonna cast your shadows below your hand. 
You don't want a light source where you're sitting like this and one at the back of your head coming this way because then you'll put your shadow across your piece of artwork and you're always working in a shadowed area and when you move you're permanently seeing shadows. So stick your light above coming down. I'll leave a link in the description to this one because I think it's really good and I think they've got a promotional offer on this as well. I think it's still running on this light. This one you can dim it. So if you touch the top, press it once, you can brighten it up, press it again, you can dim that down. So you can see that dimming. Press it again, you can bring the light up. And then if you just tap it, you can change the color of it as well. So you can go, you can warm, put a warm tone in, tap it again, you can warm it right up. And then you can dim between them settings as well. So you can dim each tone or brighten it up. Works on a three pin plug. You've got like a meter length of flex. So if you're working on a work surface and your plug sockets are down by the skirting boards, job done, you're good to go. You've got plenty of lead to go down the back of your table, plug it in the wall, or if you've got your plug sockets mounted halfway up your wall, because some people do, they have them running halfway around on the room. You've got plenty of room with your wire that's on the actual lead. So you're not gonna worry about that, but it's a very good light. So that's the one I use, link in the description to their website. Now, another one that's been sort of quite a few times, this keeps popping up. Um, when's the new Infinity released? When's it coming out? Do you know the dates on when it's coming out? And now I do speak to Warwick from H&S quite a bit. We do chat because I've got up and coming things with H&S that are gonna be happening. So this is gonna be coming up on the channel. And I do sort of know the ins and outs of the Infinite and what what's happening with it, but I can't really say because it's not for me to say. That's down to H&S and let them do the release. Uh, but I do know it's coming out very soon. There's been people asking questions, shall I buy the old Infinite or shall I wait for the new one? Now. I've got the old one, <clears throat> which is here. This is my custom Infinity that I've done tweaks to and just sort of made it a little bit more comfortable for me because I didn't really get on with the original trigger. I prefer the new 2024 Evo trigger because they're bigger and I've seen the new Infinity trigger and the bits that are on the new Infinity and it just looks really nice and comfortable. But if you are thinking of the old one, um, I would say if you can get hold of a second hand old one, cheap, buy it. If not, and you've got your money put by, I'd just wait for the 2024 to come out. I really would because it's gonna be an absolute stonking brush. It really is um, because I know what's on it and the tweaks they've done to it and what's happened. You get, you're getting better plating on it. It's just gonna be a more superior Infinite than the old one. So if you can hang on and wait, I'd wait. So I hope that clears that one up for you guys. Now, bits that are coming up, because I've got a really busy week, and I did put a community post up of these two, what was coming up. Now, the custom skateboard deck, I've changed my mind on the artwork, because the piece of artwork that was, was gonna be done, it's like, two pictures so I thought no we've got a little bit more room on that skateboard deck I'm going to go for this picture here so this will be three images we've got a skull female face and then a wolf to the top so I'm going to do that one on a deck I've done a deck a while back which was this one so I do like doing the decks we did the Bruce Lee enter the dragon so I've got if you know the film you've got Williams and then you've got Bruce Lee and then you've got Roper so these were the sh film shots out of the film. That's the bit where Bruce Lee fights the guy on the, in, uh, in, uh, on the outside and the guy breaks the board. That's why I've called it boards don't hit back because that's what it says in the film. And then did a film cell that goes round it and then clear coated it to finish. So this one was that I, I didn't do this on the channel but this is one that I've done in the past. And I just sort of dug it out of the other studio and thought, yeah, I'll get this put up back in the uh, 
in this studio once this is all debagged. I'll start putting the artwork back up on the walls. So they are good to do. Now that one there was a secondhand skateboard. Don't buy them new because you'll be spending a lot of money. Facebook Marketplace, pick yourself up a secondhand scratched up skateboard deck and then we'll, I'll take you through the process on this one that's coming up and you'll get to see how you sand it, reshape it, and then you prime it, get all the primer sorted. And then I kindly got sent out some new redesigned crystal effects. So if you've not seen this, this one will be a good one to see. There are a lot of videos on YouTube of people using this. There's ones called Mutant Crystals. There's loads of different names for it. Um, but this is a new formula that someone's done and sent me a litre bottle out to have a go with. They've sent me pictures they've done with this and it looks like it comes out really nice. So I'm going to do a bit of the crystal effects on the board as a background. So it'll all be crystal effects with candies. So there'll be a good one to see guys because that's going to be the whole process of that on the channel. So that will be coming up. Then I've got this picture here. Really want to do this one. And there's this one here as well. We're going to do a Deadpool similar to the Yoda step-by-step -step that's got the runs at the bottom when we did the Yoda one, if you followed the channel. We're going to do Deadpool. So I'll take you through a Deadpool step-by-step. -step. A little bit easier piece to do. So if you are a beginner, jump onto that one. It'd be well worth a look. So that's going to be coming up. These things will be coming up. I've got booked in Thursday, Friday this week, and I'm going to take the camera and take you guys along so you get to see what's happening. I've been doing a collab with Dude Stuff that's sort of like ongoing. When I've had a chance to do bits, I do bits. Um, I've just done the, we did the bumpers for his T4. So we did these bumpers here. That was a little clip in the studio. These were a set of brand new bumpers. So we had to plastic prime, uh, 2K high build, um, guide coat flat and then base coat and clear to finish so that was the bumpers and then moved on to the bonnet we've just done the bonnet on the channel so that one was prep all the rust out prep it up uh, prime and then you've seen in that if you've been watching the channel that was all the way through the process up to clear coat on that <clears throat> then we did the front panel that's just been done in them six videos that were back to back the other day we did the front metal panel how to paint a metal panel that's another piece to the front of the puzzle. So the T4 van is sort of moving on. Now, while I've been doing this stuff in the background, <clears throat> Steve's had the van down at a body shop to get all the rust sorted, like in the rear arches, the front arches, the sill, the rear doors, <clears throat> dinks and dents. He's had that took away and someone's been working on that through the week while I've been doing the bits in here. So now we're up to the stage where the van's all nice and straight, clean, and it's ready for a vehicle wrap. So this week, <clears throat> Thursday night, I'm going to work through Thursday night, through the night till Friday morning, and I'm going to wrap this T4. So I've got the sides to do and the back doors to do. But I've also done, if you've been following the channel, you'd have seen that I did some artwork about two or three months ago on vinyl wrap. I airbrushed on vinyl wrap and then got it laminated in a gloss laminate. So that project there, them three pieces of artwork is for the T4. So it's all sort of, all these little jigsaw pieces are all now, they've all sort of come into place. And now we're on the sort of final stages to get this van finished. So I'll take you through that as well. So that's happening this week. So that's where we are sort of up to date. I've got other projects that are coming in, that are booked in. Bit of custom paintwork, standard paintwork stuff, not airbrushing. Um, there's a carbon road race frame forks to be done in a candy red. And I've got a Series 1 Lambretta that's going back to total original. Everything's got to be original on it. So I've got to repaint that. So that's going to be videos here. Getting all the uh, primer work and prep work done here. And then it's all going to be carted across to the body shop and then I've got a bigger area where I can set everything out in the booth and spray it all in one hit, bake it, done. So I'll be taking you from here over to the body shop and we'll be doing a series one Lambretta. So as I say, busy, busy times ahead. I just wanted to clear all these sort of comments up and questions 
for you guys. We are going to be still pressing on with the step by steps. I'm going to start doing some easier step by steps as well. Your input on video content content really helps guys it really does if you're a beginner and <clears throat> you want to know how to paint something or there's a step by step that you really fancy doing just drop it in the comments and i can adapt videos to help you guys out because that's what it's about if there's things that you need help with whether it's I mean, there's, if it's paint mixing, anything like that, paint mixing, anything to do with airbrush, stripping them down, how to clean them, different step by steps, just drop it in the comments and then I'll sort of like make a video that adapts to cover as much of them questions in a video for you guys so you get to see it. I think that's better than me just plucking artwork out and just, just keep coming in here smashing artwork out, smashing artwork out. Because I could be picking some sort of like hard pieces that the beginners can't follow along with. So a little bit of feedback and input from you does help, it really does. So I hope this has cleared it up. We are moving on to this one next. So this will be up Tuesday. We'll get the second part on this. So join me in this step-by-step -step to get the second piece done because this is gonna look really nice when it's finished. And we're gonna do some um, varnish over this. I'm gonna go for a gloss uh, varnish when it's finished. So we'll give it a bit of gloss varnish and just make it pop a little bit. So. If you are new to the channel and you're liking the content, click the subscribe, it's free. Um, drop your comments, as I say, drop your comments, put your feedback on up and videos. Press the notification bell so you get notified on a video that comes up, then you'll get notified on what's coming, you won't miss out on stuff that's coming up because there is giveaways on the video, on the channel coming up very soon as well. Because um, we're coming up to the 10,000 subscriber bracket so the minute we hit 10,000 subs I'm going to do a nice giveaway um, to you guys a <clears throat> little bit of appreciation for following us and supporting the channel so you're going to get a nice giveaway on some airbrush goodies so uh, yeah drop your comments like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode of that cheers mm -hmm.